ripped toward the right center field gap. That ball is gone. A home run for Myers. Oh, they're calling it an extra. Wow. It's, safe. it's a double, I guess. I thought that ball was over the fence. So did I. Jim Reynolds is the second base umpire. He went out a little ways into center field and called safe. But I think they're going to have a look at it. I got top of the fence there buddy hit the top of the fence yeah. and then ricocheted off that lip and came back on the field of play. Yeah I was like you I thought it hit into the seating area and ricocheted back. But like I said when you said too about Will Myers good hitter tough out strikes out a lot but boy he's got a lot of pop in his bat and jumped all over that three two fastball. So the umpires will have a boundary call review and see if this is a home run. It did hit off the top of the fence. Question is is the ground rule. And does the ground rule apply to that. That's just above that sign. Right. Fox Sports go that that wasn't even on top of the fence right on the corner. So the original call was a double. I thought it was a home run. And we'll wait for the verdict from New York. Crew chief is Mike Winters. Based on the replays we saw, that's pretty, pretty conclusive. Double. Not get into the seats. I can't believe it didn't bounce into the seats. Me either. That was really soft there on top, though. We saw on that close up. So the verdict is in, and the call is a double. double. Thank you very much. So the park fooled me. And Andy Green wants to make sure that the umpires interpret the ground rules correctly here. The ball hit clearly on top of the fence. But didn't bounce into the seats came back onto the field of play. He's trying to claim that if it hits there that's a home run but there's no yellow line. That's, that's like it hit a trampoline there it didn't even hit the concrete wall. The dimensions here at this ballpark seem to change annually and they always seem to be moving in. So the ground rules change with that. But you can see there's a lip there from the concrete. It never got over that lip and it looks like that padding is actually tilting away from the field. So like you said the ball hit right on top. I'm shocked that it didn't trampoline into the seats instead it came back onto the field of play. I'm looking at the Petco Park ground rules and there is no ground rule that talks at all about the top of that wall or that padding. As you said there's no yellow line which is a boundary anyway. And so Andy Green did his best to try to politic for the home run. The call will stand. It's a two base hit.